Brothers, it's me, Lysvilla79, it's Michelle, I'm <laughs> glad to be back to do a new video. I wanted to do another series, um, and it's gonna call, it's gonna be called Rewind, where I know a lot of YouTubers probably going through the same experience where you didn't shot a video, you released a video, it was great, you probably got even kill response, or you probably got an overwhelming response of negativity or positivity you know you never know you never know but i remember shooting this video in a video response at that to happy console gamer was back in two it was back uh 2016 october 2016 it was called this gen sucks when i saw the title it brought me in and it made me think about what i've been contemplating all year long honestly uh 2016 i've thought about it time and time again when I look at my 360, my PS3, and then my PS4, and then I look at the Xbox One, which I got friends that have that in. I guess if you want to even put the Wii U into consideration, the Wii U as well. I look at this gen as the recycled gen. I feel like everything that is being distributed out of this gen is recycled. We got our remasters. We got our remakes. We got our remasters of our remasters. And Honestly, to me, that points lack of creativity, um, being able to expand and go further. And then when you finally do have the first parties that do come out or first party titles that do come out, half of these have been oh, more so they've been crashing or they've been broken and got terrible glitches. So my my quick response, does this gen suck? Yes, it does. And it sucks tremendously. Um, I haven't seen a game of just I've seen some quality titles here and there. I can't say that I haven't seen quality titles, but the overwhelming amount of quality titles that we saw last gen. And I think for me, it was at a frustrating point with all the remasters and masters and um, of, of games and not enough originality was being released at the time. I didn't want to hear that video. I didn't want to go back and watch the video and then let that slide in with this one, but I want to call it a rewind because I want to rewind because I, so occasionally I'll still get comments on the video and it will happen with old videos as well where people will go back and look at your content and they will hold you to those comments that you made or that video that you made. And sometimes as we grow, naturally we get older we evolve, we change, we change our mind. And I think sometimes people feel like they need to hold you to that. Now, some stuff is never gonna change. Like Super Mario World, to me, is my favorite Mario. And it's only because I have so much nostalgia with it. It was the first console that I got, like big console. I mean, I got the Nintendo and stuff like that, but I got it later on. But it was so much that was building up to that moment as to why Super Mario World is my favorite Mario of all time out of the Marios. Not my favorite game. But what I was gonna say anyway is that over the years, this is 2020, that was 2016, so it was almost four years ago. I've managed to play some pretty good games over the years with this generation that I actually ended up enjoying. Um, I will just kind of go through my list. I'm gonna go through my little cheat list, so just give me a second here. One of the first ones that I that stood out to me after this video um, was the next year. It was Horizon Zero Dawn. One of the first little adventure, third part, or third party, third person type shooter, uh, apocalyptic type video games. It was awesome. Uh, the lead character, I immediately dove in the, the RPG elements that was slid in there, the the realistic looks to each character, the defined shape of each face, color, people, and all that. Um, I had so much fun. I actually have been on again, off again with the game as far as going back and playing again, and really enjoyed that. Resident Evil 7, it revamped the series because 6 to me is trash. It was utter gut trash. 7 revamped the horror, suspense, the jump kills, or the jump suspense elements to it, I should say. That game was really good. I, I actually bought it again. I originally got it on my PS4, got it again on my Xbox One. It's sitting up there. Um, 
that one was really fun. I had a really good time with that. Um, Tales of Borderland, that one was great. I actually really loved that one and enjoyed it. It turned out to be a really good game. I, I actually, out of the Telltale games, that one was actually really fun. It turned out to be more fun than I thought it would be. Um, uh, another game, Ori in the Blind Forest, was such an awesome indie title. I love how close to realism that it could be as far as illustration-wise, cartoonish type game, that the flow, the fluidity of that game, challenging, but good. Um, another game, Hellblade. Hellblade was awesome. Going through psychosis, the mental depression, the voiceover, that game is highly recommended to be played with headphones. It takes you through that person's experience. You have this level of empathy that you go through with this person and it's it's awesome. AC Origins or Assassin's Creed Origins, in my opinion, I feel like it revamped the series because it started to go in this weird pattern of monotonous of doing the same shit and, and not presenting us with something different. By them bringing in that RPG element and having more of an investment with the character and just circling everything around it. I felt like when Origins came out, I was like, okay, I see what you saw. I see what you saw. Detroit Becoming Human was awesome. I always say in my mind, and I've heard other people whisper the same thing. What if a robots took over or what if robots AI became artificial and went from artificial to becoming more human-like and they started to feel things and started going through emotions and actual experiences and feeling things and they've evolved and what would the what would the world look like if that happened and I've actually played tons of other titles I just didn't I just didn't I haven't beat them yet like I'm in the middle of uh, Spider-Man that game is awesome that game definitely played out really well um, there's a few other titles that I'm playing at the moment um, I just put in, not until dawn, I beat that, that was really good. Um, there's plenty of other titles. So overall, I just wanted to kind of go back a little bit, rewind on This Gen Sucks and say, this gen, this gen is not that bad. I'll, I'll say this, I know from all my years of playing video games, I have come to a realistic place that my opinions may sometimes come in being a little bit biased because of my prior experiences with other gens. So the expectation has definitely risen and I've had to lower that and just enjoy the game. There have been games that I've tapped out on and didn't go back to at all. Just because it was just that bad of experience and I was like, okay, this is agonizing. But it doesn't necessarily mean that this is the generation. My thoughts have always been, as long as we're evolving as far as consoles, generations, um, taking new challenges, doing new things, and setting our sights on the next generation, then I feel like you know, we're making progress. So does this gen still suck to me? No. Could there have been, could it been better? Yes. Tell me what you think below. Other than that, I'm Life Spiller.